morning everybody, uh, this is Sheila here. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and safe and uh, I'm going to show you today um, how to do some pearl knotting. So uh, a little tip as well is if you're doing pearl knotting just make sure that you've got your reamer by the side of you just in case you do get any dust through the pearl. So this is your pearl reamer so just keep that to the side. And then off we go. So I've started this one here and I've actually put the clasp on that you get in the kit and then you need a crimp bead and you need um, to take the crimp bead through the necklace finding and then through the crimp bead and into the um, pearl and then you can close the crimp bead and then you can put a crimp bead cover on okay and then that will bring you to the next stage where you actually start to knot the pearls. Um, so this is the needle that comes with the thread that comes within your kit. That's a little bit, it's had a bit of, um, we've been busy with that one. So it's got a little bit of bent now, but it's very, very strong. So you won't have to worry about it breaking touch wood. So I'm going to now put a, a pearl, get a couple of pearls here together. So a little tip as well is, Always remember to look at your pearl before you actually um, do your knot to make sure that you haven't put a pearl on then a pearl again. You can actually undo the, the thread. It's really quite good if you've got your um, flat nose plies and your uh, round nose plies, you can actually maneuver the, um, the knot back out again. But always, always look to make sure that you have done the knot before you pop another pearl on. So here we go. I'm going to pop the needle through the pearl, like so. And I'm going to just pull that gently, just through. And then pop it next to the knot that I've done before. So then you take your, your needle, take it through. And then you can actually use your fingers if you want to and just slide it and pull it so it actually sits right up to the pearl, which you can do that. And let me, let me just do that to show you that that does work as well. So that's now sitting right next to the pearl that we've just put on. And yet again, I've done this many a time before I've done the knot, I've popped another pearl on. So that's one of my tips that I think is important. It saves you when doing the knot then. So we'll get another pearl on. Once you've actually started doing this, it's quite therapeutic as well, which all jewelry making is, as we know, but um, this is quite, makes you concentrate, to be honest, as well. <laughs> there we go. So make sure your pearl is flat because at the back of these pearls, they are flat on the back. So make sure that, but it, it is easy to actually um, turn them round before you actually finalise your clasp. There we go, so just pull it together as well so that it's quite up close. And then pop on another pearl, get a couple out, they keep rolling off the side here. So pop on another pearl. There we go. And then again, no, look, I've done just what I've told you not to do, haven't I? <laughs> I've actually not tied the knot before I put the pearl on, which is so easy to do, but it comes out really easily anyway. So let's do the knot. <laughs> so we go round again, underneath your thread, pull the needle through. Okay, you can either hold it with your finger and thumb like I am, which as you can see, it does really sit right closely and then I normally get my flat nose pliers and then hold it and this is such a great way if you haven't got any any of the tools we sell for pearl knotting so there you go there's another one now I've done the knot so make sure that we do <laughs> put the pearl on there make sure the knot's there yes it is so just pop that pop that needle through they're really easy to use the needles don't be um and they, it's such a, it's such an easy way, I think, of doing pearl knotting. And it doesn't. I mean, I'd got four on already, but we've put one, two, three. So, 
is sort of, and obviously make sure that you get enough thread out before you actually start the pearl knotting. Just test it around your decolletage and just make sure that it's going to fit um, because you don't want to snap your needle off before, you know, if you haven't got a long enough thread on there. So pull that through. So I've done it again, look, I've my <laughs> See how easy it is when you're talking or you're not, there we go. So it's the knot first, then the pearl. There we go. Pull that up. Just make sure that you push it quite tightly so that the pearl sit next to the knot. And now the pearl. Bear with me. There we go. So this is all you do really, you just keep on not pearl, not pearl. There we go. So that's continually all you have to do. So there's the knot. Now we can have the pearl. So it's growing quite quickly. So um, so that's that's all there is to it really. Just as I say, making sure because I've done it twice on here, trying to do two things at a time, which I know us ladies are quite good at. But sometimes <laughs> there we go, knot, and then the pearl, then the knot, and then you end up then with a lovely necklace. That if you do happen to catch your necklace, you won't have to worry about it losing all your pearls because you don't because the, the knot's there. Whereas if you've got it on ordinary thread, it's so easy just to break and then all your pearls sort of break. So just make sure you've got that knot right closely to the next pearl. And there you go. We're ready for another pearl now. So uh, I hope you enjoy um, doing pearl knotting. It really is very therapeutic. And, and if you're sitting quietly and you concentrate, then um, you'll make your necklace in no time. So uh, all take care and uh, it's been lovely being with you. Bye-bye.